right, hey guys, welcome to BS Movie News Live. Uh, thank you guys for coming out. First and foremost, I'd like to thank some of my super patrons, Manny Valencia, Jeff Kramer, and Mr. Cuddyflam37 for being awesome. Without your support, we wouldn't have this amazing set behind us. Uh, and we are on Patreon if you guys want to check that out and support the show. Up first, we have Mary Jane has been cast in the new Spider-Man movie, and it's Zendaya. Sure. She's Mary Jane now, like, whatever. Well, I guess everyone's upset because she's not a white girl with red hair. Not everyone, just a couple Well, of the angry people are upset because she's not a white girl with red hair. All right, so that's that. <laughs> Let's move on. Hugh Jackman wraps up the Wolverine 3 and shaves off his chops on Instagram to signify the end of his career as a Wolverine. Oh yes, I have been wanting him to hang up his claws for years now, okay? Like, look, Hugh Jackman's great. He's done a great job with the character. He has really taken it seriously, and I appreciate that he has tried his utmost for this character. But I really believe that the only reason the X-Men franchise, Brian Singer's crappy vision of whatever, the, I don't want to call it the X-Men, the only reason it stayed together is because of Hugh Jackman. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Maybe now we can move on and get some new X-Men stuff. I mean, are they, I mean, I heard that they're gonna try to go R with this, which I mean, I'm interested, because I'm certainly not interested in any more PG-13 Wolverine movies. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Justice League Dark is a thing that's happening, apparently. For those of you out there who don't know, and this is gonna be based on the comic book that I actually, I did read this when it came out. When the New 52 came out, they had this thing called Justice League Dark, where you had all these magic-based weirdo characters. And their whole point is to deal with magic-based weirdo problems, okay? And it comprises of, the team has like Zatanna, Lady Xanadu, Dead Man, I love Dead Man, he's great. Uh, John Constantine, Shade the Changing Man. Yeah, right, we're never gonna see Ch Shade the fucking, they can barely get that character right in the comic books. They're, you're never gonna see him on the big screen. Um, and then maybe some other assholes, I can't remember. But in, see, the thing that's weird about them announcing to do this movie to me is like in Suicide Squad, right? Enchantress is the main problem in Justice League Dark. Like Ch Enchantress has gone insane. She's been ripped from June Moon. There's a bunch of June moons running around, like there's teeth monsters, teeth tornadoes flying. I mean, like it's crazy shit going on, you know? And like Superman and Wonder Woman, like they can't deal with magical problems. Like Superman is not immune to magic. Like in fact, that's the only stuff that'll really fuck his shit up. Like he cannot deal with magic. So it's up to these characters to deal with this crazy witch problem, you know? Which was done really like a what, like a billion times better, like a million bazillion times better than in uh, Suicide Squad. So. You know, it's weird that they're like gonna do that when they already kind of took some of the best parts from that. So I don't know who the villain's gonna be in this one. And I don't know, it's just like, it, it's, I feel like, like Justice League Dark, you, the whole DCU is dark. You need to get a darker tone. Like, you know, we have like Batman, yes. Superman, dark, dark Superman, dark, dark Batman, sad Batman. I, I just can't get excited for anything the DCU is putting out because I just, I need, Fool me once, you know, shame on me. Fool me twice, I'm an asshole. Fool me three times, then fuck, you know, I should just stop what I'm doing and reevaluate my whole life. Uh, here's some personal topics. These are some top, top stories here. Top story. This fall, mustard is in. The color mustard is hot this, this fall. It's, there's a lot of jewel, there's jewel tones every, every fall, but this fall in particular, we have mustard, you know, and so, Mustard's the hot new thing. Oh, and uh, and I'm really excited because right now I have a little bit of mustard. I told her to put a little bit of mustard in my hair, but like when it becomes fall, fall, you're gonna see a lot more mustard in this hair. I like fashion. And speaking of fashion, let's get into an even more dumb topic. I have a really little head. Like it's a very small head. It's like a child-sized head. And, uh, and I never can find hats that fit my head. I always, I go to the store, I see cute hats, I try them on, they don't fit my head. This is a game that I've been playing for years. And when I was at H&M, uh, I was like, I saw this hat, I just saw it, and I was like, that hat looks like it would fit my head. And I put it on, and it does fit my head. And I bought it immediately, 
You can wear it like this, like if you want to go like children of the corn style, you know? Or, or if you want to go uh, cane from Poltergeist 2, you know, you can go like this, you know, if you want to do that. So, I got a new hat. I'm an asshole in middle America. I wear hats. I'm a hipster douche from LA wearing a hat. And I love it. I'm in a dream. You're in my dream. I designed every part of this place. I just saw the Westworld trailer. Uh, the HBO series is coming out. It's coming out October 2nd. I couldn't be more excited. Okay, so Westworld is based off of a Michael Crichton book. And Michael Crichton actually directed it in the 70s. Uh, Yul Brenner is in it. And I never, I haven't seen the 70s Yul Brenner Westworld movie. I have not seen that one. Um, and the thing is, I'm kind of glad that I haven't because I really, I don't want to know too much more about it. All I know is that there's like this kind of theme park thing, but it's not really a theme park. It's like this immersive experience where you can go back into the old west, you know. But in the 70s, I believe they're like robots. But I guess in this new west world, they're going to be, um, virtual reality, but maybe they, like, what I think, and I don't know, this is way speculation, but what I think they might be trying to do is get into some, like, the personalities in there are trying to get out into a robot body and get into our world to fuck some shit up, potentially. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And that's the thing. I'm really excited. So, yeah, I'm really stoked for Westworld. It looks really good. Anthony Hopkins is in it. Uh, it's going to be some weird fucking shit going down. Uh, James Marsden, Cyclops is in it, worst Cyclops of all time, uh, was in it, and hopefully he'll do a better job. I don't have anything against James Marsden. He was yeah. just, he wasn't giving anything to, he was just, it's not his fault. It's not his fault. I don't blame him. I don't blame Marsden, you know? I'm glad he's doing something. Let's move on to, to my bitching for no reason, Comics Corner Edition. As you guys know, I have been reading A Force. A Force is like my jam because my girl Dazzler is in it. And uh, and so this, I went to the comic book shop and I was like, yay, is A Force out? And oh, yay, it's out. And then I see, then I see this, wah, wah, Civil War II, Civil War II. So this comic is a tie-in comic to Civil War II. It is not in continuity with what they've been doing in A Force. Uh, and so I was like, I'm going to hate this, but I'm going to give it a shot. I'm gonna pick it up and see what's going on. And, uh, and I read it last night and, it, and I indeed hated it. I indeed hated this so much. And let me tell you why. I bitch about Marvel events all the time. And this is like, this is a perfect, this is a perfect example, okay? Because I've been enjoying this comic book so much. Like, so much so. Like, I just really look forward to it every month, you know? And, they, and these girls, they're like becoming a team and they're gelling and they're still figuring their thing out. And like, I'm so excited to where like, what is their next adventure gonna be? And instead of like just doing the story that I like, that I am paying for, that I'm here for, Marvel has a big, dumb, stupid event called Civil War II, where they end up tying in all of these other comic books with any of the characters involved in Civil War II, which is everybody. Uh, and then essentially they disrupt your story so you're forced to read stories completely out of context that you don't give a fuck about. Uh, and that's what this is. It sucks. This whole comic just was balls. And you know what's worse? I was looking in the back. Next issue is also Civil War related. And I'm just like, really? Two months, two A-Force issues are going to be Civil War tie-ins? And like, Jesus Christ, Marvel. This is what I think your Civil War 2 mega event crap. One more thing, one more top story, and this is just some life advice for some guys out there. So this weekend, my friend Jessica was like, hey, let's go to the club. Let's go clubbing. I never, I don't go to the club. I've, she's the only reason I've ever gone to a club. And we went to this place called Warwick, and it was on Sunset. And, uh, and it was like, yeah, a lot of models were there, and a lot of like kind of douchey guys, a lot of desperate dudes. And the only guys that approached me, uh, their, their line was really bad. And so I just want to share with you my story. So maybe, I mean, I don't think that, you, I don't honestly, you viewers, I don't believe that you would do this, but I just want to make sure. You get hit on? Yeah, well, I wouldn't call it being hit on. I would call it, 
I don't know what I would call it. It was a fail. So this guy approaches me and this is his line. I'm not kidding. And keep in mind, I'm not wearing a dress. I'm wearing like a business shirt that's kind of open with like pants and like flat shoes. I wasn't wearing the hat, uh, but I had some sunglasses on. And his line to me was, are you a hooker? That was his opening line. And like, I just kind of let him keep going. Like, I was just going to be like, how long, like, where is he going to go with this? How long, like, where, like, what is his game plan with this pickup line? Because I know that this dickhead was reading some pickup artist bullshit where it's like negging, you know, where you tell a girl like that she's not as pretty as her friend or something to try to get her to prove herself to you to like suck your dick later or something. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever the psychology is, it was not working on me at all. <laughs> so... Uh, after about like, he just kept going. He never, he never even course corrected. He just kept going with, it. he was very committed to this, to this line of inquiry. And, uh, and at one point I was just like, when you started this conversation, is this where you saw this going? Like, is this where you thought that, like, what was your end game, you know, with this? And then, and he didn't know what to do. And I just kind of turned around and it was like really sad. Uh, I think we're going to be wrapping it up for today. Uh, I don't know what's coming out over the weekend. Hopefully we'll be reviewing some, some hot stuff. And thank you guys again for watching BS Movie News Live with me. You guys are the best. Uh, don't forget, we're on Patreon if you want to go check that out. And I will see you.